Uh, we are heading over now to Graham, who's taking a look at a very busy weekend ahead in federal politics. Absolutely, Melissa. The Conservative Party of Canada choosing a new leader this weekend. More than a dozen candidates have presented their vision for the future of the country and what it will take to beat Justin Trudeau in 2019. So far, the party's already cast 125,000 ballots, about 50% voter turnout so far. That sets a Canadian record for votes cast in a leadership race. Conservative strategist Jason Leader is joining us now in studio to talk about all things heading into the convention. Jason, look at that that set. There's 13 of them. <laughs> hey, Great listen. to see you, first of all. <laughs> like, I mean, th that's unusual in itself, right, that there's still 13 in the, in the race. At the beginning of this thing, they told me that there wasn't going to be anybody in the race, that it wasn't an attractive job. It turns out it's a pretty attractive job. Everybody wants it. But w what's going on there? Why haven't they dropped out? Is, is, is it that they've all got a significant amount of support? So, or But there's obviously going to be differences. Yeah, right? I think so. I, I think there was actually no incentive built into built into actually. And the weird part is, other than the O'Leary-Bernier deal, there's really been no deals. Right. And I expected to see more deal making at the end of this. I'm not going to lie. They, uh, I really thought that at the end of this, there'd be the second, third, and fourth place candidate really looking to try and jockey for position as the voting happened. It didn't happen, which I think, you know, gives Bernier or Mr. Bernier a significant lead and, a, and an advantage going into the weekend. So let's start, maybe start with the, yeah. who are the front runners? You talked about Max and Bernier. Uh, who is challenging him and why is he a front runner for people who maybe haven't been paying, paying attention to him today? <laughs> Which I think is most Canadians, sure, sure. Not, not, not the Conservative Party membership. Right. Um, Max Bernier got out of the gate really quickly and I think had a very strong strategy, which was just sort of be who he was, authenticity, say what he meant, and, and, and really do a good job fundraising from the very start. So he's, I think, the, the clear front, or front runner. There's two people that I think have a chance to, to beat Max, an outside chance to beat Max. That would be Andrew Shear. He's a, an MP from Saskatchewan, an Aaron O'Toole, an MP from sort of the Whitby, Oshawa area. Both of them, I think, ran uh, good campaigns, strong campaigns, over-delivered, over I would say, from what people might have thought they might have... And, Not and flashy. Right. But, right. but did the right things quietly, maybe didn't get as much media attention as right. others and, and have, have a real chance here. Solid candidates who, who most of the people in the party can live with, right? right. Um, that's, that's, I think, the, the leadership politics is all about not angering people as much as it is about, <laughs> about getting people to support. Lots of times it's the consensus candidate, the compromise candidate that actually wins these things. The underdogs, who are they? Well, I mean, listen, Kelly Leach came out of this thing like a shot uh, for some of the really? wrong, for some of the wrong, <laughs> yeah, some of the wrong reasons, some of, of the right reasons, lots yeah. of attention. She's in fourth or fifth place going into this thing. She's not going to win, but, uh, you know, she's there uh, for sure. You know, Lisa Raid, I think, is somebody that, uh, that a lot of Canadians like, a lot of party members like, but just didn't somehow get across that cusp and somehow got, you know, sort of bettered by the Sheer and the O'Toole campaigns as that compromise candidate, that candidate that most people can live with. And Michael Chong is the sort of the maverick candidate. He came out of left field. He wants to be the, the sort of the change candidate, electoral reform candidate advocating a carbon tax, that kind of stuff. So he's, you know, he's sort of one of those also rans who has an outside chance of doing, I think, reasonably well in the Before weekend. we get to the to the process, and it's yeah. important in a leadership campaign and a, and a convention, um, as a conservative, what's the best case scenario, because you're not committed, what's yeah. the best case scenario coming out of here against Justin Trudeau? Maybe even don't don't say a name. Yeah, yeah. What, what, if you're a conservative and you want to win, what's the best candidate here? The, or, the only thing that matters for the Conservative Party really is being united. Mm -hmm. So we've seen this in the past. You see in Alberta right now, Mr. Kenny and Mr. Gene are trying to put the Conservative Party back together in Alberta. So united we fall. Uh, you know, or sorry, united we stand, <laughs> divided we fall. You don't so, want to go back to reform and uh, alliance it, and, and all that. The mess, only right? pe yeah. the only people that like that are Justin Trudeau and his team. So so coming out of this thing, whoever the leader is, whether that's Mr. Bernier, Mr. Shear, Mr. O'Toole, they've got to make sure that they take care of the party, put it back together, or keep it together, and and focus on the Liberals going forward. Uh, Stefan Dion, I was at that convention. Were you there? <laughs> at the Palais de Congrès? Yeah. If I was there, I'm not admitting You're, I was yeah, there. Let's you, put it that as way. an observer, but yeah. I mean, it was a surprise. Like, it, uh, nobody really uh, thought this was going to happen. Yeah. Does your party face that too? And if not, why not? Delegated convention at the, at, in Montreal that, uh, that came up with Mr. Dion, and, and a really different set of circumstances. So you had Michael Ignatieff, who, for obvious reasons, some members of the Liberal Party didn't, uh, didn't like, and, you know, they were they were they were proven right. He wasn't a great candidate. Mr. Ray at the time, it was still you know ID, the NDP in Ontario was still a, a pretty a lingering problem mm -hmm. for him. A lot of people didn't want him. So Mr. Dion was the compromise candidate in a delegated convention supported by Gerard Kennedy from Ontario. A lot of people right. forget about that. This isn't a delegated convention. 
There's less opportunity for deal making. There's less opportunities for compromise candidates. That's why, Mr. Bernier, if he goes in with a lead, is the odds on favor. All right. We will be watching. You're going to be there on CTV with Lisa. Uh, and uh, you never know uh, what happens on these things. Hopefully we have some fun. Yeah. It, uh, you know, predictions in politics are really easy to do, That's right? right. Exactly. Thanks, Thanks for this.